Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will talk about reservoir allocation in Embal software. All right, so we are now inside the Embal. We go to tool. Now, instead of selecting material balance, we will select reservoir allocation. Okay, go to reservoir allocation. All right, and now you can follow me. We go to the options. Okay, reservoir fluid oil, track impurities, no. And for the user information, you can type in the company, field, location, platform, and also user comments. We click done. All right. Now you can see one tank, but it is still blank. Now we go to PVT and we select fluid properties. All right. Now we need to input informations for this PVT data oil window, all right? All right, so you can follow me, formation GOR 650, standard cubic feet per stock tank barrel, oil gravity 40, but please be careful here. The unit is kilogram per meter cube. I will change it to API, all right? Oil gravity, but be careful here. The unit is in kilogram per meter cube, so I will change it first to API. Click done. Go to units. All right, so let's find API or gravity, the oil gravity. This one, oil gravity. You can see the input unit selections in kilogram per meter cubic. We change it to API. Oil production in MMSTB, million stock tank barrel. Okay, I use that. Click OK. Go back to PVT, fluid properties. All right, so for oil gravity is 40 API. Gas gravity 0 0.6. No H2S. No CO2. No nitrogen. And for water salinity, 25,000 ppm. If you have data, you can do matching by inputting the laboratory data here and click match. But I will skip this matching now for this video. Cancel. And for the correlations, I use Glasso for bubble point pressure, solution GOR and oil formation volume factor. For oil viscosity, as usual, I prefer Bill et al. But of course, if you have laboratory data, real data, you can do matching and select the best correlation. All right. For separator, single stage separator. And I will have three reservoirs actually in this example, but I only have one PVT data. Okay, the PVT data is PVT01 here. So click validate. Okay, we are validated. Click done. All right, now we have this tank. We can go to input tank data all right you can follow me for this first tank tank type oil the temperature 210 initial reservoir pressure 2725.3 porosity 0.25 conat water saturation 0.05 water compressibility i have the data so instead of using correlation i will input 3 times 10 to the power of minus six. All right, gas cap, no gas cap with original oil in place of 20 MMSTB and start of production, 1st January of 2000. PVT definition, I will use this one, PVT one, and I can calculate the bubble point pressure, press call, I get the bubble point pressure. Click done. All right. Now, suppose I only, I already know the water influx, the aquifer parameters. So I go to water influx. I change it to this model, Hertz van Everdingen modified method. Or instead, I will use Hertz and van Everdingen and Dake with the system radial aquifer. 
for example, I already know the reservoir thickness, the reservoir radius in even aquifer permeability. So I will input the information for the aquifer here. All right, so the reservoir thickness 100 feet with radius of this one with outer inner radius ratio of four and the aquifer permeability quite high, 200,000. All right, millidarcies. Okay, so far so good for the rock compressibility. I will use user specified and the number is this one, four times 10 to the power of minus six. Okay, rock compaction, relative permeability, we will use Cori functions. You can follow me for this table, residual saturation fraction. Okay, the endpoint. Exponent one and the KRO. Okay. And then for this one, 0 0.8, two. And for the gas relative permeability with endpoint, okay. Exponent two. All right, you can check the plot by clicking this one. Okay, KRO versus water saturation or KRW versus water saturation, KRO, oil relative permeability versus saturation of oil and the KRG versus saturation of gas. Okay, close. Now for the production history, I will leave it blank. All right, because I will do reservoir allocation. So I have the production history from a particular well, from one well, and I will allocate the production history to each tank, to each reservoir. All right, so we can skip this one, production history, click done. Okay, error, connect water saturation from the tank parameter data page, this one is greater than that in the relative permeability data page. This is not possible, so either click OK to copy it to the relative permeability data, data page, or click Cancel to correct the problem. So I will correct the problem. This one, Connect Water Saturation. OK, I will check it back for the relative permeability. OK, this one. OK, 0.05. This one. Okay, done. All right. So I have one tank. I have one reservoir. I will move it there. Okay, and then I will create another reservoir. 